is everyone tonight? Thanks for being here and on time early, all that good stuff. My goodness, get myself situated here. How is everyone? All right, let me pull up on my phone so I have a better chance of reading all the chat. Chat, chat, chatter. Yay. All right, so as you are hopping on, hopefully YouTube is getting those notifications out. If you are subscribed to my channel and have your notifications set so that, um, you will be notified when I go live. That will be awesome. <sighs> Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Let's get cut my tag off here. Hello, Alyssa. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. All right. Oh, there we go. We jumped from three to 26. So YouTube must be getting those notifications out. Awesome. Yay. Hello, Amy and Becky, Lily, Patricia. Hello. Okay. So, um, I have some new stencils that are going to be available tonight at midnight on my website for customers. Um, creators can also order these individually before you could only get them as a bundle. I'm going to show you the bundle that I got. I have, um, one or two projects that we'll do. There's also a new chalk paste color coming out tonight at midnight. And I want to make sure, um, I'll probably say this a couple times during the live in the description. So whatever you need to do to open up the description, I put just a few links. Last week, we had a lot of people asking questions about what it means to be a creator and all of that. So, and I know some of you have already joined this group. I started a new group on Facebook. It's called Magnolia Monarchs Business Basics. Now, this is not for people who are already creators. This is for people who have questions, who are thinking about possibly joining our Magnolia team. And I'm going to put information there about that. So I put a link there. You are more than welcome to join that group. Um, just request to join and uh, there's a couple questions to answer and then I'll approve you. Um, the other link I put is for on my Magnolia website. It takes you right to the just released. So it'll be where the new items will be when they go live at like 12.05 p.m. Eastern time or a.m. I guess that would be a.m. on Wednesday morning early. Eastern time. Okay. I also put my email address. If you have any questions about anything we talk about, um, feel free to email me. Okay. All right. I see lots of friends are hopping on. Thank you so much. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And hopefully this vertical, um, orientation is working. Okay. For all of you on YouTube. My iPad was suggesting it and really for me it's easier because I feel like you can see me and you can see what I'm doing. So I see lots of friends coming on saying hello to each other. I so appreciate you guys being here. I did do a Facebook live today. It was my craft around the clock and oh no what's getting on here and I made I made this little um nativity let me see if i can show you the whole thing christmas countdown i have not mod podged my um blocks yet but these will be mod podged so that um you can change out how many days till christmas what do you guys think so if you wanted to see how i made this um make sure you go to my monarch mom diy facebook page you can watch the replay from today. I'm wearing the same shirt, so you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Okay, so what do we have coming up? I have uh, the six new stencils that are gonna be available tonight at midnight. I don't have the chalk paste yet because I was not able to order that early. But let's start with our Gnome Winter. Isn't he so cute? And look at the little reindeer that's peeking over his shoulder and he's drinking a little cocoa. You could do just the gnome with the reindeer. You could do it with the word winter. The fall one has the word fall in these same kind of like varsity letters. 
Um, you could use just the word winter for something if you wanted, but he's so cute. He, yeah, it's definitely a he, right? He's got a beard. Okay, so that is Gnome Winter. This one was um, pretty popular when we released the new catalog. And you know what I just noticed? The whole thing's adorable. Hot cocoa and fuzzy socks, right? This would be a cute uh, PJ top. Like if you do PJs for Christmas time, this would be adorable. But look at even just this cute border, the snowflakes and the zigzag. I just noticed that. How cute is that? You can even make a hot cocoa sign and just use hot cocoa and the little cup. So cute. So this is called Fuzzy Socks. Eight by 11. Hi everybody, hi Cece. All right, the other eight, eight by 11, I'm excited about, and I'm gonna use this one tonight, Grow in Grace. If this flower looks familiar, it's very similar to the line drawing flowers from the August Craft Club kit. This one here that had the grow happy thoughts. Okay, similar style of, of um, flowers. So this is a bit, a bit larger. It says grow in grace just with one flower and it has 2 Peter 3.18, which is the scripture. I'm gonna do this one tonight on a hoodie from Walmart, but it's like that uh, silky kind of athletic, it was called a mock neck hoodie. It's Athletic Works. So um, I'm going to do that on this for me. I've been saving that sweatshirt for this stencil. All right, next we have some bigger ones. Um, this one is called Rolling Pins Winter. And I would actually use these on our faux book set, which I happen to have right here. If you've never seen this surface before, it is awesome. I love it. It's kind of hollow, so you can, um, it's not super heavy. Hey, Cece. And you can make two different designs, front and back. So um, I thought maybe if the shirt doesn't take a long time, I might do one set of these. I probably would do, because you can do, here comes Santa Claus with the reindeer and the sleigh. You can do walking in a, what, walking in a winter wonderland, or you could just do Winter Wonderland with the snowflakes. Um, I kind of like farm fresh Christmas trees. I thought that's cute. And then for the Grinch lovers, stink, stink, stunk. So lots of different things you can do with this. You can even do here comes Christmas. Here comes winter. What else could we do? Yeah, so anyway. This, you cut these apart, obviously, and we can do that on the book stack. All right, 15 by 15. I was excited for this one, the Tree of Life. I've seen this done all in black. I personally think I'm going to do brown and maybe magnolia green or two different greens for the leaves. I think this would be really, really pretty on a tote bag. Um, I might even put, like, the word faith down here or something. I'm kind of playing around with what I'm going to do with that. And then this one, I feel like this one needs to be on a tall, skinny tote bag. This is our tartan uh, pattern. Now, it looks very complicated, but when I saw the example, you see how there's a thicker, just a single line so they did all of those in red, and then they did the smaller lines in black, and it looked really, really cool. So I'm excited to use this. You could do it as a background on a sign. Um, lots of different things. What do you guys think? What are your favorites here? Whoops, I just lost my video. There I am. What do you guys think? Okay, so we have tartan pattern, tree of life, rolling pins winter, Growing Grace, Fuzzy Socks, and Gnome Winter. What do you guys think? What are your favorites? What do you want to see me use in upcoming projects? I'm not 
see. Oh, there we go. Tree of life. Oh, we love the tree of life. Growing grace. All of them. Rita, you're so funny. Okay, so all of these will be available tonight on my website. Um, if you live further west, lucky you, you don't have to stay up as late. Oh, my thing's not very... I didn't clean my big ink mat. Where is my small one? Uh, all right, well, I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, so I think what I want to do first, I don't even know if that big ink mat will fit in this hoodie. It's a little more narrow because it's kind of the athletic material, but I want to get it laying as flat as possible. Oh, I think it'll fit in there. I think we're good. Okay. So let's get that. It's not super sticky, but I think it'll be sticky enough. Uh, Patty, it is a bundle right now for creators, but starting tonight at midnight, um, you creators and customers can order any of those six stencils I showed individually. Okay, so the bundle is usually the week before for creators, and that's the only way you can get it early is if you order them in the bundle. Does that make sense? I need to push this up a little further. It's still fuzzy from, what was the last shirt I did? Oh, what was the last shirt I did? I think it was my Grow Happy Thoughts, my yellow one. Okay. Oh no, my sunflower shirt. Okay, so this one goes up and down. And one of my tricks is if you fold in half, and just crease the backing, it'll give you a middle point. And I can line that up right with the middle of the hoodie. Now, I don't want it too close to the top. I think this is going to be good. And, oh, you guys are still telling me. Yeah, Patty, you already ordered the bundle. But, Patty, another bundle is available tonight for creators. That one has the barn. What else does it have? Delight yourself in the Lord. Uh, the Griswold family Christmas. The airmail. Like it looks like a postcard. Anyway, if you look on the creator Facebook page, and I'll post it on our team page tonight too again. Um, There will be bundle number three will be available to creators tonight, okay? As well as the fern colored chalk paste. All right, so this, this design is not going to take very much ink at all. Remember, it's that line drawing. I'm just really hoping that this is stuck down. It's a little harder to tell because my ink mat that's inside is not very sticky but i think we'll be okay yeah patty that's the one you need next it'll show up it'll show up when you go okay now one tip when you're doing white ink on a dark color okay i do a normal light layer to start i'm going to do the whole thing And that'll set just a minute. And then I'm going to come back and go over it again lightly because white sometimes needs a second. A second coat just to show up on the dark colors. But I don't want to use too much on this very delicate uh, detail uh, flower. Just 
just going really lightly. Getting it in the mesh. This sweatshirt, I think I said I got it at Walmart. It's in more the athletic wear. It's the um, athletic works, I think it's called. So it's a little more of that slick material. Okay, so I have it all in. What I want to do, I kind of want to peek and see. Okay, it looks good. I am going to go just lightly over everything again just to make sure my white is going to be nice and bright. Jenny. Okay. All right. Hopefully that looks good. Remember, if I start to peel it up and I need a little more, I can just put the stencil back down. It's looking pretty good so far. I love it. It is awesome. Oh, I love that stencil. Can you guys see? Let me turn it around. I really want to make sure I, my hands are clean. Mm. Look at how great that turned out. So pretty. I'm excited. Yes, my ink mat, I can um, make it sticky again. I just don't have, um, I don't use baby wipes because those are fuzzy. I use um, like a Clorox or a disinfecting wipe and that works really well to get it um, sticky again. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to let this dry and then tomorrow I will I will heat set it by ironing it with some parchment paper over it. And I love this. I'm wearing this this week. You guys will probably see this later this week, okay? All right, so that's Growing Grace. So excited for that. All right, let me see. What were you guys most excited to see? Do, 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 do. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, Fuzzy Socks, Growing Grace, Tree of Life. Tree of Life, Tree of Life. I have to get a tote bag to do Tree of Life. I don't have any more tote bags. So I promise we will do that one. You guys don't want to see the pattern. You don't like it? I think you'll like it once you see me use it. Gnome Winter. Oh, you know what? I have a little friend. You know my friend who, uh, son, I sometimes watch. I am so making him a shirt with that Winter Gnome on it. What did I do with all my stencils now? Seriously, you guys, it's been a day. Where did I put them all? Oh, they're up here. This, he's getting a shirt with this on it. Maybe not the word. I can't, I can't decide if I want to do the word or just do the no, but he is getting that on a shirt. All right, fuzzy socks. 
You like the color of the sweatshirt? Thank you. Okay, what do you do? You guys want to do a book stack? I haven't done one in a long time, and they're super easy. And you know what I love about them too is it's already painted, it's already mildly distressed. It comes with the twine even to wrap around, and you have enough to make a bow if you want. So all I'm adding is I'm going to use some of these stencils, and I just have a tiny bit of greenery and whatever these are called, these little berry things. And I'm just going to tuck those under the twine. I'm going to do the book stack. Okay, but Sue, what do we want it to say? I mean, I'm not a big Santa Claus person, but I would do Here Comes Santa Claus just because look how cute it is with Santa and the reindeer. Or we could do Walking in a Winter Wonderland. We could do Here Comes Christmas. Let's see. What do you guys think? What words should we do for the book stack? I'm just going to start cutting them apart. So where these white lines are, that's mesh kind of like um, where the chalk paste goes. So that's a good place to cut your stencils apart. Santa Claus, Winter Wonderland, walking in a Winter Wonderland. Let's see. Now, if I'm going to do the snowflakes, which I think I want to do, I think I'm just going to do Winter Wonderland and then the snowflakes, maybe in the middle. So let's cut a winter, but we'll just use winter. Oh, except I have like, does this go with winter wonderland? What about farm fresh Christmas? Here comes Christmas. Hi Candy. Can I do this with Winter Wonderland? I don't think so. I'm gonna do farm fresh Christmas trees just because the little doodads, we don't have Winter Wonderland. No, I know you don't. <laughs> All right, well, that's the great thing about this is when you get this stencil, you can do whatever you want. I think what I would want to do is if I had, if I was going to do the um, walking in a winter wonderland, I would want to put like a snowflake or something up here. You know what I am going to do is I'm going to very lightly, just where I'm going to put my stencil, very lightly sand. I feel like it just helps the stencil stick down even better. Of course, make sure you wipe your chalk dust. All right, it just makes it a little smoother. All right, so because I have this here, I'm gonna do farm fresh, spray some snow on the greenery, then use it with winter wonderland. <laughs> the green in a bow, oh, I could do that, okay. It's not very pretty greenery, but all right, we'll do winter wonderland with the snowflakes. That's what you guys want. I can always do the other on the other side, the other words. So I think that just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to do my stencils with black. So let's do Wonderland first. That's going to go on our bottom book of our book stack. I'm, you know what? I still don't have a Sharpie. Oh my goodness. I need to buy some more Sharpies. Oops. There we go. Wonderland. Pen just doesn't work as well for this. All right. So when I do a book stack, I usually put my words to this side. I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed. 
and then I leave this side over here for the twine. Of course, then if I turned it to the other side, the twine would be here and I would have to put my words on the other side. All right, so I'm going to, since I can see through my stencil where the letters are, I can get it lined up. Press down. So what I like to do with book stacks is I do the I line up the top one and the bottom one. And then I do those and then once those are dry, I will do the middle one. Okay, so we're just doing the word winter. Down to the hair. Okay. Gotta love repositionable stencils. Let's get our black chalk paste. This is gonna be so cute. All right, so I just need a tiny little bit. I'm just dipping in here. And there's the word winter. Wonderland. Very nice. Let me get this in my water. Nice. Okay. Now, if you wanted to rather do Winter Wonderland and then the snowflakes, you could do that, but I'm going to do my snowflakes in the middle. I think that will be cute. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that adorable? So we just need to let that dry. Again, we could do Here Comes Santa Claus, Walking in a Winter Wonderland, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, lots of choices. And I probably have words from, no, the winter words are bigger. I don't think we had rolling pin words for winter before. I don't think. Did we? Let's look. This is all my Christmas stencils. I don't know that we had... See, we had these, but these were bigger. These are too big to fit um, on a book stack. Oh, you know what? I think we had book stack words for Christmas. It was on a five by seven. Let me just look. Yeah, I think they were just on a five by seven, so you only had like four words. So, hi Liz. Let me see. Yeah, I think it was, I want to show you, I want to find it. Yes, it was home for the holidays. Home for, home for the holidays or gnome for the holidays. So that was the Christmas or holiday book stack um, last year. You know what? The gnome for the holidays words would be really cute with this guy. Gnome for the holidays. Wouldn't that be cute? Ideas. Okay. So we just want to make sure this is dry before we put another stencil kind of on top of it. The other thing, too, if you don't want this to be white book stack, you can paint them. I've seen where they paint, like, one of them red, one of them green, and then leave the middle one white. Really, really cute.
Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm just gonna put the snowflakes on the middle book. Okay, looks like they're in the middle. Fingers. So cute. What do you guys think? Turned out nice. Dab white chocolate. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I could do that too. I could just use a little bit of my white uh, chalk paint. Because I don't really like that spray snow stuff. I feel like it's a mess. But I can get my white Waverly. And let's just get one paper towel. Hi, Liz. Gonna dab it. See that? Let's get a little snow tip look going on. Ah, I like it. What do you guys think? Not too, and you, you can do as much as you want. This is plastic, so I just have a whole bin that I just throw scraps in because you never know when you just need a little piece like this, you know, for a book stack. Hello, Adeline. Welcome. All right, so don't forget, I did put links in the description for the Business Basics Info Group if you're interested in learning more about being a Magnolia Creator. And also uh, the link to where on my website you will find these new stencils tonight at midnight. dries that up really quick. So nice. Okay, so I told you the twine comes in the package with the book stack. So usually what I'll do is I will start one up here towards the top and I'm just going to wrap, oh, I don't know, two, three, four times. And then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to snip and tie these in a knot. You know, it's just supposed to look like how you used to bundle your books before we had cute tote bags and things like that, like a little book stack. Okay, we'll leave those long for a second. Then I like to take the rest and let's see how much do we have here. That's gonna be really thick. So let's do thirds. Try 
trying to get it in thirds. And then make a bow. So two loops, we'll crisscross the loops. Okay, now these loops down here are tails. to get my okay then these they're a little uneven but we'll trim them up so then this I usually will put on top of the knot that. I don't think my hot glue is heated up, but we'll see if we can get it there before we're done. Then we just stick our little greenery that we painted. You could glue it if you want, but you probably can just tuck it under the strings or at least a couple of the strings. But if you want to glue it, you can tuck that there and then actually, what do you think? Should the greenery go on? I think the greenery should go on the, the bigger part of the book stack. My bow is coming all undone here. Something like that. Yes, she did test positive for strep. And we were kind of glad because that's, uh, I mean, it stinks to have strep, but antibiotics, amoxicillin, she's going to be feeling better tomorrow, I'm sure. So, yeah, that was, that was kind of a pain. Poor girl. So there you go. There's your little book stack using the new rolling pin winter words. I just have to... I think I am going to glue this just because it is plastic and it's kind of rolling around. I'm just going to glue it right under where my strings are, just with a little dot, and then put my bow there. Oh, no, Pam. Yeah, I think it's really going around. All right, so to sum up, we have six new stencils and a new chalk paste that will be available tonight at midnight or 12.05 on my website that's eastern time so if you live closer to the west coast you don't have to stay up as late and we made this book stack out of the new rolling pins winter and i inked another sweatshirt for myself this is the new grow in grace i love it so much i can't wait for it to dry i may even just heat set this in the morning so that i can wear it tomorrow so there are some links in the description. If you are at all interested in learning more about what it means to be a Magnolia creator, I invite you to join that Magnolia Monarchs Business Basics Facebook group. I put the link in the description, click the link, ask to join and answer the questions and I will approve you. What was good for Rita? Rita. Yay, Rita, yes, praise God. No cancer. I'm so happy for you. You know what? That was some good news that I needed to hear today. Awesome, Rita. Yes. Yes. You you weren't supposed to find out till tomorrow, so I was surprised that you found out today. Um. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you know, and that just goes to show Magnolia has brought so many awesome people into my life. I just thank God for it every day. So if you want to find more out, find out more about it. Join that group. No pressure. Just answering any of your questions. Um, all right, guys. Well, with all that being said, I will be back on YouTube Thursday night at 9 p.m. Um, I don't believe I'm going live at all tomorrow, am I? I'll have to check my schedule. But I think I took Wednesday off because we have um, family night is starting up at church. 
tomorrow night. So um, I'm pretty sure, let me just tell you for sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know what? I scheduled, did I schedule a Facebook Live? I scheduled a Facebook Live tomorrow night at 9 afterwards. So if you want to see me tomorrow, I'll be on Facebook at 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, everybody, take care and have a great rest of your night. Bye.